Hey, it's Doc Griffin here, your swing surgeon, director of club fitting, and yep, it's again time for the doctor's house call. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different uh, the next few weeks. I'm actually going to start uh, a series that's going to run through the different steps of club fitting. So today is basically an introductory to why do we need club fitting. You've been watching the blog, some of you for a long time, some of you may be new, and, and Serge and I have stressed repeatedly the importance of getting your clubs fit to you. We're not just saying that to hear ourselves talk or because it's uh, the end thing to say. I'll give you an example of trying to teach somebody archery and we give them crooked arrows. Uh, they're going to get very frustrated. Once in a while, they'll probably hit the target. More times than not, they're not going to perform the skill set very well. So it makes it impossible for them to do the sport well. On the other hand, let's take an archer. Somebody wants to learn archery, and I give them straight arrows. I give them a bow with the right uh, test on the, on the bow, and we go over and we teach them time and time again, this is how you do or pull the bow to shoot the arrow to hit the target. Now just because we gave them the right bow, the right arrow, straight and everything, it doesn't mean they're going to hit the target either. But it does mean that they're going to have more of a chance to hit it than with the crooked arrow. So I'm often asked, Doc, just how much better am I going to play with fitted equipment? It's a question I can't answer. I can answer that if you apply yourself, learn the skill sets involved in executing the golf swing, you'll be able to do it better with properly fit equipment, whereas with ill-fit equipment, you're not going to achieve it. Let's take one example. Clubs that are too long. Uh, two things that it will make you do. It'll make you swing very flat and around yourself or it'll make you swing out and over and come over the top and, and cut across the ball. So that's just one example of something in your club fitting that will cause you to make swings that will produce effects that you don't want. So I'm, I'm encouraging you to stay tuned over the next few weeks as we're going to start this series of, of the elements involved in a club fitting. Let me take a moment here to tell you what a club fitting isn't. It's not going to a demo day where they say, here, try this, try this, try this. It's not going in a local retailer where they have you hit balls off of a mat into a screen that's got a simulator on it. And, and they say, okay, well, you're 6'2", you need clubs this long, uh, you need clubs this flex, and that's not a fitting. We're going to cover the different aspects and we're going to go over it point by point. And I encourage you, if you have questions or a topic regarding fitting that you'd like to see covered during this series, please pick up the phone and give me a call or send me an email at jgriffin at dotgriffingolf.com and we'll include it in with this series. Um, we want to thank you for your participation again on the blog. Your support's been very much appreciated. And I want you to remember, better golf is just a fit away.